So testing, one, two, one, two. This is the swimming at Roses 2017 between Lancaster and York in the pool. Hello, testing, one, two, one, two. We are in the swimming of Roses 2017. It appears to be a relay race. I did not realize that, James. I have headphones, I can't hear anything. Welcome to the Roses 2017 coverage by Bellrig FM currently. Uh, we have a video stream on this and we are at the swimming here at York. We've just had the first event. Uh, I'm joined by James Riley. Hello. Uh, quite a exciting first event, that one. Yeah, it was. It was pretty close between both York and Lancaster. York just picked that one. Lancaster coming home in second and third, yeah. with York coming home and rounding up the field. Just uh, exactly a second almost between first and second, and about a second between third yep. and fourth as well. It's the second event. This is the men's relay now. So Swimmers are in the pool. They're lining up. Waiting on the referee. And they're on the last, and they're off. Who takes an early lead. It's pretty even as we start down the first leg. York just edging the field, but it's all still to play for. Lanes two and three pulling away from one and four currently, but quite close together. York are taking it now. It's a one to York, second Lancaster, but York is straight behind them in third. Lane one, Lancaster falling behind a slight bit now. He seemed to be slightly off course. My bump to the barrier. We're in the second leg now. York is well ahead of this one now. They're taking it. It's Lancaster in second and then York third. Lancaster fourth. And now they're on the breaststroke coming back. It's 50 seconds on the clock now. No change to the field still. York, Lancaster, York, Lancaster. Very close between third and fourth position now. Onto the butterfly stroke, third stroke. York still leading in lane three. Lancaster lane two, coming in second. Third and fourth position, Lancaster and York very close, with York just edging it. And they hit the wall on the final leg. York well ahead in this one, Lancaster second. Third and fourth, still to play for though. 0.6 seconds is the split between third and fourth. About a second between first and second. And Lancaster's catching up on the home straight. The crowd are roaring them home. It looks like York's got this one. York take it, Lancaster second. York finishing first, one minute 46. Lancaster second, one minute 47. 
then York coming home in third and finally Lancaster wrapping up the field in Lost. Wow, you can really hear the uh, atmosphere in here. I don't know if it's been picked up by the microphones at home, but uh, it's quite the crowd. Yeah, it's packed in here right now. The team's just collecting themselves. I think there's another relay still to come, but the individual events are going to follow. So York taking first place in both races so far. Yep. With Lancaster claiming second in both. I think we're ready to start the individual events here. Four women lining up. A moment of calm in the swimming centre here as the teams are lining up. So, over to the referee indeed. In lanes one and three, we've got York, two and four, Lancaster. Yep. Ready? And we're off. Pretty even as they emerge. York, no, Lancaster just pipping this one. Lancaster edging it slightly in lane two, but not much to call in between it yet. They hit the wall. Lancaster just in the lead as they hit that wall. Currently looks like Lancaster first in lane two, York in second, lane three, pulling away from Lancaster in third, lane one, and York in fourth, lane four. They hit the wall and turn again. York are right back in this. It's pretty much level pegging. Lancaster still edging it. York's right behind them. Then it looks like York in third. Lancaster coming last. The crowds are cheering him. They are being edged on by their uh, their teammates on the other side. Lancaster pulling away now. Must be half and a second gap between them. They hit the wall now. Lancaster are really pulling this advantage. Third place looks safe for Lancaster as York are falling behind in lane four. And it's a victory for Lancaster. Yeah, Lancaster first, York second. Three seconds, the split between them. York in third and then Lancaster. Uh, Lancaster in home third. In four. Stop. Is it not? Yeah. Okay. Someone with more knowledge can can say who, which university they represent them. So next event, this is the men's. Again, we've got York in one and three, Lancaster in two and four. A reminder, if you're not currently watching online, you can watch all the action taking place here at the uh, swimming center online. In it's been covered by cameras. In lane four, Lawrence Copeman, ex-captain of m the uh, men's swimming team. <laughs> Happens to be my flatmate. Don't you, yeah, don't you know him? Yeah. Good luck, Lawrence. We're rooting for you. And the lineup. Completely unbiased commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Awaiting the referee's whistle. And they're off. And then they go. They hit the water. And then as they emerge, it looks like Lancaster just edging it, but it's pretty even. And they come up to the wall. Lancaster leading in lane two, going into the latter half of this lap. Lancaster York, Lancaster York is the current situation. They hit the wall again. 27 seconds is the time recorded by the leader in lane two, Lancaster. And they hit the wall. Lancaster clearly out of front now by a full length on York in second place. Very length. evenly spaced between all four now. Yep, a length between each swimmer. Lancaster coming home in third. It's gonna be as it stands there. Lancaster win it, York takes second. Lancaster third, and York wrap up the field in lane two.
So now we're on to more events. I think there's about 20 swimming events in, all, in total. They've done really well though. It seems that the uh, commentator just said they were going for a break. Oh. Um, but yeah, do you have any interesting facts about swimming, James? I believe you've commentated it, commentated on the swimming for the last three yes. years, is that correct? In first year I was here as uh, York won quite comprehensively actually. Uh, last year though, Lancaster took back the crown, so I know it's an ongoing feud. It goes back and forth each year between these two. Mm. It's, it seems that um, it's very uh, evenly matched at the minute. York seemed to take a, cu a couple of the first events, yeah. um, but then... Lancaster have taken a couple more back. Yeah. So, so every every swimmer counts. Um, so essentially, each each winner of each heat gets four points. Second, three points. Third gets two points, and then the last swimmer still brings home a point. So it's important that each swimmer does finish their race. We had a we had a case of last year. A swimmer unfortunately couldn't finish the race, and Lancaster lost a point with that. In the end, it didn't matter. But at the time, it was a disappointment they didn't get that mm. final point just for finishing. Um, and then at the end, it's a it's a maximum number of points win overall. So in these races, you'll see some going Lancaster's way, some York's way, but it's, it's interesting if you uh, pay attention to the second and third split because that can often be the uh, the decider. It doesn't mm. really matter who wins these as long as you're getting decent results across the board. Yeah, because obviously, if you if you have um, uh, a swimmer finishing in first and fourth, it means that both Lancaster and York end up with the same amount of points yeah. for that heat. So ideally, second and third is probably the best, well, Second is probably the best position to maybe aim for. Yeah. Obviously, it's important to win your event. Yeah. But to make sure you get points, aim for second. Yeah. So we've got a quick short break now. While uh, they've done the relays first this year, last year they did the relays uh, to wrap it up as like a, a big finale. But they've done them for this year. And then they uh, they uh, they're having a break now. They've done the endurance swims as well. Uh, we had the uh, 100 meter ones then. Mm. And uh, they'll be going to 25 or 50 meters next. Uh, they'll probably start at the 25s, they usually do, um, and they'll wait, work their way up again. Most of these swimmers do multiple events for both teams, so it's important that they uh, have a quick break now, make sure they get optimum performance later on. Yeah, they need a bit of a rest, maybe get some energy back, um, yeah. and then I know a, a few occasionally a few of the swimmers also compete in the water polo as well. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah. Which is an event that's coming up a little bit later, I think it's after five o'clock. Yes, it is. Um, it might be half past five that that's starting because uh, there's the octopus in between, mm. uh, or the underwater hockey, which is no doubt an interesting event. Uh, yeah, it Very is. difficult to commentate on. Yes, however, um, YSTV and of course uh, LA1 TV will be here with uh, some great coverage of that with their underwater equipment. Uh, we're using that today, and big thanks to those guys. So uh, if you just tuned in, um, you, we're currently in a short break. Uh, the swimming will be returning at 22 or 1340 if you're on digital clocks. Um, and the first few events seem to have gone an even split. Uh, Lancaster winning a few and York winning a few. Um, if uh, what we can do now is we can aim to look onto the Roses Live website shortly and we'll try and get you some uh, uh, live scores from some of the other events and the overall scores from the Roses standings. Uh, I know the last time I looked, uh, before we left to come and commentate on the swimming, uh, it was 47 to 36 in York's favour. Um, but that is most likely to have changed by now with the number of events that have already taken place this morning. Yeah, we've got a full schedule today. Uh, lots of events across the board, so it's all, still t it's all play for today. Uh, we'll probably see a big swing in the scores. We might see uh, York pull out an unassailable lead, but... Yeah, we never know. I, I think York are obviously the clear favourites to win it at this point. Um, yeah. Obviously, having won uh, the majority of events yesterday and inc including the uh, the massive opening ceremony, that's got to be a, a big confidence booster for the rest of the York uh, teams as well. Yeah. So um, York, obviously the home team, won quite a lot of events yesterday. Uh, some of the teams that are playing today for Lancaster will have had to have slept on electric theatre floor. Um, so there's all sorts of things that could maybe go again against Lancaster. Um, so it's uh, unfortunate from their perspective uh, that some of those uh, results have gone against them because no doubt they would have liked to have uh, taken as many points as possible on the Friday uh, moving into the Saturday of full schedule of events. Yep. So a couple of minutes now until we get back uh, to the action here. 
Uh, it's interesting to know. It seems that York have got a larger team than Lancaster this year. Is that maybe because um, Home Lancaster? Yeah, Lancaster have to travel with um, uh, a number of players and obviously yeah. have a limited space, maybe. And obviously, York people live here, so yeah, that they yeah. can get to the here. Obviously, it's a long walk from main campus to uh, where we are now, as we've just found out trying to get <laughs> to here. Um, but obviously, at the same time, it's a lot shorter distance from the distance from Lancaster to York. Um, an interesting fact that I've just rem remembered from yesterday, actually, um, the Lancaster, no, sorry, the York lacrosse team um, were travelling the distance from Lancaster to York on treadmills in order to raise money for charity. Nice. Um, so maybe the uh, the lacrosse team could get from Lancaster to York, or York to Lancaster maybe next year. Yep. So right now we've got many other events going on as we speak. We've got uh, Rugby League, Men's First. That's down at the 22 Acres Rugby Pitch 1. And also Rugby Union, Men's Seconds are down at Rugby Pitch 2. They're on currently. We have streams from the Rugby League hosted by Zach Hughes and Adam Bragan from Berwick FM. Elsewhere, uh, we also have um, College Netball is on currently. College Netball League A is in Sports Center Arena 1 uh, alongside um, the um, ha Women's Handball, which is at Sports Center Arena 3. So lots of events that are going on right now uh, while we have this short break. Two minutes until we're back. Uh, the swimmers now getting out of the pool after having a warm up, prepping themselves on the line. Speaking of warm up, it's incredibly warm in here. So yeah. if you're listening on uh, the commentary stream, it's quite useful for you because you don't have to endure <laughs> this uh, blistering heat generated from the swimmers, the pool, obviously the temperature regulations. Um, it is incredibly warm in here, but I guess that's because they have to keep it to a certain temperature. Indeed, yep. So the overall score we've got in, uh, York are on 54 points currently, Lancaster 38. George, you got a bit more from that? Yeah, uh, if anyone wants to keep up to date with what is going on uh, around York University today, uh, you can check out the Roses Live website, where you may be checking out this stream. Uh, but roseslive.co.uk, there's a live feed being run by uh, the student newspapers and student media. Um, and they're keeping score updates from around the university. Uh, the most recent of which, uh, in the darts open seconds, Lancaster winning four points to nil. Uh, four points to two, sorry. Uh, but as you said, James, oh, uh, York are currently winning 54 points to 38. Yep, indeed. Looks like we're getting uh, ready here yep. at the swim centre. Uh, short break almost o over as the swimmers get ready once again. One minute to go. Here at the... Uh York Sports Village swimming pool. So a reminder for anyone that's just tuning in, uh, quite even here so far as Lancaster and York both taking a couple of first places and often taking the second place if uh, the opposition has taken first. There have been very few events here that seem to be a complete uh, stomping, so to say. So, as you join us at the swimming pool here, we're re ready for the individual events, and we've got York in lane one, furthest from us, as you watch the camera stream. Uh, Lancaster are in lane two. York are again in, in lane three. And Lancaster are nearest to us in lane four. You are, why? Quick pep talk from the coaches. Yep. Here we go. Getting into the right zone for this. And the uh, York Swimming and Water Polo Club have put their banner up. I remember two years ago that was attempted to be uh, stolen by Lancaster. Oh, really? Uh, but they were scuffing at the last chance. Wasn't you, was it, James? It was not me, no. But we're ready to go here for the next swimming. Let's take the podium. The crowd beginning to cheer once again, ready in there, players. 
and they're off. And they hit the water. And who emerges? Lancaster in the lead here, but he's a pretty even field behind. It's looking like Lancaster is that taking. Yeah, they hit the oh. wall, and it's a Lancaster 1 2 as we stand. They'll be very happy with this. Lancaster looking just a stride ahead, 1 2 above York. And they hit the wall in the turn again. Still Lancaster 1 2. If anything, they're stretching out this advantage now. Lancaster really dominating here, but I know York won't go down without a fight. More than a length now as they're coming up to the third turn. And York are, York are going backwards, if anything. Lancaster are powering to a, a dominant lead here in this first event. 55 seconds on the clock as they approach the wall. And they hit the wall, and that's it. A Lancaster 1 2, and you can hear the crowd for Lancaster. One minute one for both Lancaster 1 and 2. Strong swims there. Lancaster, York were a good three, three seconds behind there. Three seconds down to third, and five seconds down to fourth. Now the men take the podium. Again, York, furthest from us in lane one. Lancaster 2, York in three, and then Lancaster again, nearest to us in lane four. Just an update, in the Rugby League men's, Lancaster are ahead 12 points to 10. However, York getting a try there to try and equalize it if they can. As we prepare here for the next event. 100 meter freestyle here. So that's four lengths of this pool. Giving the eyes at the start. Bit of mind games between some of these swimmers here. They've been swimming against each other for a number of years at a county level, not just in a university sport. And they hit the water. Strong start. Yep, Lancaster have come out all blazing here. They're all taking a quick one Very two. close between second and third though. Wow, this lead has been extended out fast. This is over a length now. I'm seeing exactly the same as what we saw last time by the look. It looks like Lancaster, a good stride ahead in 1-2 away from York. Yeah. So now it's a 1-2 for Lancaster. They're well ahead. York are going backwards, if anything. Lane 3 is especially struggling to keep the pace here for York. As they hit the last turn. It's a home stretch for Lancaster. They've got an unassailable lead at this point. Lancaster a full body yeah. ahead here. They can celebrate. And they hit the wall. The York team looking a bit unnerved by that. A couple of them seeming to be a bit frustrated in the crowd over there. It's not usually it's not often you get a, a strong one-two for a it's a big blow if, if, if a team manages to get a one-two. Two events in a row. Yeah. They'll be worried if they're it's not a pill to well. swallow that one. They'll be wanting to change this as we come into the, the next event here. Again, same lanes as, as the previous two heats. Lancaster in one, uh, in uh, two and four. York in one and three. Quick update in the rugby union men's seconds. York are ahead 12 points to 10. Very close game though. There. Yeah. The reverse of what's happening in the first, where well, Lancaster leads 12 points to 10. 100 metre butterfly here for the women. They line up, they're taking the marks, and they're off. Bad start in lane one for York. But she's come up well. And it's pretty even as we're here going into the first turn. Looks like lane two and three, Lancaster and York. Edging ever so slightly yeah. ahead with lane one and four dropping behind slightly. Lancaster hit the wall first. They're just edging this one. The girl that I said had a bad start is really feeling it now. She's falling back. It's not promising for her. Lancaster hit the wall. York there. Third and fourth though, getting very close still. Lancaster edging ahead in lane two though. Yeah, that's right. Lancaster are now feeling it as well, nearest to us. It's going to be a close battle for them between the third. Yep, 
but I think that's a one and four as we stand, but as we say, that battle up at third is literally neck and neck. Lane two and three really pulled ahead here. Yeah, and as they come home, Lancaster take the lead. York a second, and now the crowd are really on their feet to ride these two girls home. It's neck and neck. Who's going to get it? It's too close to call, but I think... 0.16 yeah. seconds, I the split between York them. seized it on the line by such a short, small margin. That was unbelievable. A tenth of a second. Very close there. Lancaster taking first. York second and third, we believe. And Lancaster. Actually, and I believe that Lancaster sees that one there. Just, yeah, they just edged that one. So we had a 1-3 a, a for, for Lancaster, a 2-4 for York. Photo finish. Yeah. And that, that, that just shows how, how nail-biting this, this event can be. These guys are really, really at the top of their game. And it is a matter of milliseconds between some of them. So we'll line up for their next event, which I believe will be the 100-metre butterfly for men. Waiting for that to be announced. It is indeed. York and Lancaster really giving eyeballs to each other. Taking positions now. Eyes on the pool, eyes on the prize. <laughs> Take the mark. And they're off. Again, we've seen pretty even as they come up. But Lancaster and York in the inside lanes are taking the lead. Looks like York's, York's just ahead of this one. York hit the wall first. Lancaster very close behind though. This is really close at this stage. All four still in with it. 50 meters done and they're hitting the second wall. Yep, York are just edging it so far as we're coming down the, the third length. But third and fourth is We may have again. a photo finish yeah. yet again between third and fourth. York hit the wall first, heading into the final stretch. Oh, and he's leveled it. And he's literally head and head for first place and the head and head for I third. I think Lancaster may be pulling ahead here. Lancaster's going to take it on the line again. That's a phenomenal And that is that Lancaster around. in first, that York second. And Lancaster take third as well. Another. Wow. That final stretch. Wow. And the he Lancaster swimmers just He'll taking a bit yeah. more strength out of those arms. <laughs> be very happy with that one. Lancaster were really happy with this start. They've had a couple of one twos and they've had a couple of one threes as well. Very strong. Uh, very strong start for Lancaster yeah. after coming back from the break. I believe Lancaster have won every event since coming back from that short break. Yep. The coaches will be happy. Yep. They didn't do so well in the relays, but they've really pulled it back. So, next event. The women play less mind games, I feel, on the start line. The guys really get into that aspect of it, but the women... I'll give them benefit of the doubt. Probably, probably wishing each other luck. <laughs> 100 meter backstroke here for the women. They're going to take the plunge in a second. Get ready. Yeah, they've heard the whistle and they get in. Taking up their positions here inside the pool. It's tense here. And they're off. Let's see who emerges in front. The York swimmer was in there for half a length and she's come out a length in front. Quite the split already, that just from the start. Yeah. Strong start by York in lane three. Lancaster though, following up with positions two and three. Yeah, as it stands, points will be square from this event. York are well behind in fourth place, but the Lancaster girls are even for second and third. Be interesting to see who wins that one. York well ahead now in lane two. Yeah, some of these events, these 
these athletes specialize in, and you can tell just this is clearly her event. Hitting the wall for the third time now into the final stretch. And it's plain sailing for her. She's she's relaxing. No photo finish in this one. Waving to the fans as she goes. But, <laughs> but Lancaster are coming home, second and third. And a big round of applause to the York swimmer who's still to finish. Everyone's willing her home. She's done well. It's very good to see. One minute six, the time recorded yeah. by that York swimmer. With York coming in, one minute 10, one minute 12. And York taking fourth place, one minute 23. Yeah, quite a way back there for her. But good swim, nevertheless. Better than you could do. Not denying that, I only know one stroke and it's breaststroke. I'm not saying anything to that. That's what she said. Professional coverage of Roses 2017, hosted by Belrig FM here. Here we go, men's 100 metre backstroke. Again, they're lining up, bit of slapping. And they take the plunge. All the swimmers in position here on their marks. And they're off. Who's coming out on top, George? It's very close currently. Uh, lanes two to four, which is two Lancaster and yeah. one York, all hitting the wall at almost exactly the same time from what I can see. The importance of a good start. It's been summed up by the York swimmer in the, t in the far lane. He had a poor start, he came up way too early, and now he's a couple of lengths behind, and we haven't even reached the halfway stage. Still very close, though, be between positions one to three. I can't call this currently from yeah, where I'm stood. neck and neck as we stand. It looks like Lancaster edging in front of me in lane two, York following in lane three, and Lancaster third position in lane four. Yep. But this is so close this going into the final close. stretch. And York's had a very good turn. He's just edged it and he's going to take it. it it's between like lane and lane two and three. I, I think York have got this one. It's going to be close. And it looks like York did take yes, it. Lancaster York taking too. second and third, very close behind. And the York swimming now rounds off that field. 106 was his time. Impressive final stretch by the York swimmer there to take the lead. Good under, turn. Yeah, under a minute there for the. Uh, first two athletes that's an impressive time for a 100 meter backstroke quick update in the netball college event uh, york are currently winning 34 points to 20. in the darts open seconds lancaster lead four points to three in the fencing men's first york are ahead 45 points to 33. so the next Women's 100 meter breaststroke. They all take the podium. Couple of different stances getting ready for this. And we're off. And York come out in the lead. Looks like York taking yeah. position one and two here. In lane four, Lancaster lagging a full stroke behind already. York have traditionally had better breaststrokers than Lancaster in the past couple of years, so it's interesting to see how Lancaster really have an athlete of their own here, coming in second place currently. Yeah, Lancaster now taking second place from York, but first place looks quite secure. However, Lanc uh, Lancaster in lane two are doing their best. A good turn here and maybe we will see a close finish. So, York ahead, lane three, Lancaster second in lane two. York in third, and Lancaster lagging behind a bit in lane four. Yep. This is an impressive swim, though. Doesn't look like the Lancaster swimmer here can do much about this dominance from York. 
No, traditionally they have had good breast strokers. And that is York taking yeah. position one, Lancaster two. York finishing third there, one minute 23. And we wait upon Lancaster finishing in fourth. There we go. The field's home. So up next, we'll have the men's 100 meter breaststroke. Adam Peaty, of course, from Great Britain, broke this at the recent. Twice. Twice, in fact, yeah, at the recent Olympics. 57.16. Yeah. Apparently, is the current world record for this. So let's see how close these guys can get to that. 117 was the uh, winning time for the, the, the women there. That was quite an impressive swim. On to event number 12 now. The men taking their positions on the edge of the pool. Strong start needed here by the swimmers if they're to win this event. We've seen it in the last few, it's very important. They're off. Very even yeah. emerging. Neck and neck. Looks like York edging by half a yard currently in lane three, but that's it as they hit the wall first. As they hit the turn. Yep, York in front. Lancaster's coming back at him. It's still pretty equal field. Very close between second and third. Lancaster maybe just edging that. York pulling ahead though in first as we hit the wall for the second time. So York are really starting to work on this advantage. But it's pretty much neck and neck for second place between Lancaster and York in the far lanes. I think Lancaster are just edging it, but we'll see it this next split. Final stretch, York going into that. Got to be a good couple of strokes ahead here. The crowd are urging him home. It looks like York can get a one-two here. You can hear York the York taking first. It does indeed look like York might be taking second as well, but very close to yes. the Lancaster it swimmer. One-two from York there. Lancaster third. And Lancaster fourth finishing now. Winning time there, 106. So oh, less than 10 seconds over the, uh, the record. Not bad from these guys here today. It is warm in here, I agree. We have the women I'm now. not even doing any sport. 200 meter freestyle here, so that's eight lengths this crew. Quick update for you. In the hockey women's second, uh, full time, 1-1 one, one in that uh, fixture. The women taking the marks here, and they're off. Looks like Lancaster possibly emerging first here in lane two. Very close for second between lanes three and four. Yeah. With Re York trailing slightly on the far side. Really close here. Lancaster just edging it, I think. They'll be hoping they can rectify the look for the last one and get another one too. Currently holding position one, Lancaster. But York in second place, fending off Lancaster in third. Yep. In the wall again now. Lancaster pulling away in first, I believe. Yeah, this is really an endurance race. We're not even at the halfway point here. And these girls have already been swimming quite well. So they hit the wall, we're at the halfway point now. Lancaster 100 lead. meters in. And it's pretty much neck and neck for second place between Lancaster and York. She's really pulled it back. York just edging out now for second place. I feel we're seeing the split now. This is the point where it'll start aching. The 
Lancaster athlete is nearly a the who the Lancaster La athlete An is nearly a full length ahead of the uh, the uh, fourth place York swimmer. She'll be happy with this performance. She's coming home well. 25 meters to go for her. Yep. Last turn. 152 is the current time for her. It looks like it's going to be Lancaster in first place, York in second, Lancaster third, and York's fourth place swimmer hitting the turn for the last 25 minutes now, yeah. uh, 25 meters. Two minutes nine recorded by Lancaster as he did indeed take first place. They'll be happy with that, and that's one three. Lancaster have just edged this so far. Be interesting to see if York can do anything about that. And there we go. York finishing fourth place there. Yeah. So this is men's 200 meter freestyle now, I believe. All the men psyching themselves up on the side. A couple of them looking away from everyone. A couple of them looking directly at each other. Each of the athletes here will have a different way of psyching themselves up. Certainly is an endurance race, not only of the body, but also of their will, of their mind. Wouldn't you agree, James Riley? Definitely. the lineup now to take the podium. We await the referee's mark. And they're off. Strong start from Lancaster. Looks like Lancaster 1-2 yeah. approaching the turn after the first 25 metres. Still early here but they've gone off very fast these two. Very strong. Lancaster, a good couple of meters ahead of their opposition here. York will be wanting to come back into this, but Lancaster hit the turn and York only just hit it now. Very difficult here for York. Lancaster really dominating so far. Yeah, clear lead now for the, the first Lancaster athlete in, in lane two. Second place hits the wall now. The two athletes from York. Just hit the wall together. They're pretty much neck and neck for third. Nice little personal battle between those two. Uh, it looks like they have a bit of a split between them now as Lancaster hits the wall once again. First place and second place for Lancaster here. Really dominating. I can't see York getting back into this one. No. Yeah, it's going to be probably too much of a push now. Looks like Lancaster are going to take these one, two quite easily. So they hit the turn. 150 meters done by Lancaster. York trailing. These guys are still going strong. They're pulling out, if anything. Very strong swim from Lancaster here. Second place hits the wall for the final time. York turning there in third place. And there you hear the cheer from the corner of Lancaster fans. It's a clear one two for Lancaster there. One minute 54 and one minute 57 recorded by them. Third place is just finishing now in the furthest lane for York. And fourth place really dropped off there. Yeah. Very close between him and third place for a while. Not currently. Two minutes nine by the York swimmer in third place and two minutes 22 just recorded by the swimmer in fourth yeah one two for lancaster they're very strong yeah good swims all around there though especially from the lancaster boys both under two minutes very good start and they just built on it there a nice 10 minute break now uh 
while the swimmers rest up. We'll have some of the shorter events coming soon. Tom Pearson. Expert analysis with Tom Pearson. That was really entertaining. Um, I, I guess if you're listening you like to that? us, you're also watching on the video feed and you can see just how close some of those races were. But if you're not, you can check out the video feed uh, lovingly provided by our TV friends. Um, we're not streaming on an audio stream. We're just streaming over the TV stream. Oh, <laughs> are you sure? Oh, okay. Yes. Um, That's fine yeah, then. You, you, you will have seen just how close some of these races are. And um, some of them how, especially in that last one just then, Lancaster pulled away um, by a huge distance. And um, it was really impressive. I don't, I don't know whether it was in the case of York maybe potentially having a bad swim or Lancaster were just that fantastic. Lancaster were very strong there. And of course, when your opponents start that strong and they pull ahead in the first 25, 50 metres that much, there's very little you can do. That yeah. will definitely have been going through the York swimmers' heads. Very and I, I think decided. we saw that they they uh, don't have the if they don't have the competitive side of it, they won't be giving their best swim. Yeah, I mean, looking at the times, however, it does seem like uh, in the women's 200 meter front uh, is it front crawl? It is it breast? No, it's not breaststroke. I can't remember the name of the stroke. Freestyle. Oh, is it freestyle? This is the freestyle, yes. Ah, okay. So, well, in, in this event, um, obviously, looking at the previous times, uh, the women's times were closer to um, the York times. So it, do, it does look very... Uh, yeah, well, I think that was possibly the uh, one event just then that was the largest split between York and Lancaster. However, we have I've seen some very close ones here. A reminder that we did the, have a photo finish of 0.14 seconds. Some of the uh, races, it seems that, oh, since the uh, relays at least, that um, Lancaster have taken maybe a resounding lead in the swimming. Uh, obviously, it was mentioned before, it's four points for a win, three points for a second place, two for third, and one for coming in last. Um, I'm so just going to put in that there is a uh, one of the swimmers has a marvelous mustache. I have not seen this. Is just it down, down here? Put oh, it just in the first lane here. It's a marvelous mustache. You might might see that mustache in action later on. Yeah. You'd think they'd have to shave that for uh, for uh, the drag. Fluid, yeah. Yeah. Fluid resistance. Um, but George, how Who have knows? you been enjoying roses? How? How, how have you been enjoying roses? Uh, I have, have you been, been I've been it? enjoying it by drinking. You can't say that, George. Uh, I've been did. enjoying it by covering the wide range of great sports we have here at York. What sort of uh, things have you been? What sort of events have you been watching? Uh, I was at the men's hockey yesterday, uh, which was very good. Which I believe was a victory to Lancaster, five points to two. Yeah, that's the indoor hockey. Th there were a of few course, events. Of course, the outdoor hockey taking place today. Um, I think the first, the women's second finished. 4-0 uh, to York, then um, the... In the indoor, indoor hockey, ones, this yeah. is. And then uh, the men's second, uh, Lancaster won 5-2. Then in the women's first, York won 5-2. Then Lancaster won 5-2 in the men's first indoor hockey. So um, it was a very interesting um, set of results there. Obviously, throwing the result back to each other. Lancaster, in the end, I believe, taking the most points out of that. Or in fact, no, actually. They would have been entirely even. Um, but in the hockey today, do you have any updates? Uh, well, we had a few scores coming in early on. Uh, I think most of the games now are reach. Well, some of the games, the uh, hockey women's seconds uh, ended one point apiece. Um, and that's really the only update currently. Uh, in the rugby union men's seconds, Lancaster are leading 17 points to 12. Do we know how the men's third got on with that one? I, I'd, I'd assume it was a York win because I don't think Lancaster have, Lancaster have moved from their points total from earlier this morning. No, we don't. Well, uh, the current overall score totals are 54 points to York and oh, 38 to Lancaster. Uh, my Indeed. bad, it looked like a six when I glanced over your shoulder before. No, 54 points to 38 here at Roses 2017. So still not an insurmountable gap between uh, Lancaster and York? Definitely not, especially since we've seen uh, Lancaster 
probably edging it here at the swimming. Uh, quite a few points, I'd imagine, going up in these events. And uh, don't forget, there will be coverage later on uh, from the underwater hockey event. Uh, Bell Ring FM will be commentating on it, and I believe we will still be on this stream uh, as it is being uh, played in the pool. And then um, after the underwater hockey, uh, we have the men's and women's water polo events. And uh, you'll want to stick around for those because uh, as uh, one of our commentators, James, mentioned before, uh, the water polo is a phenomenal event. So it's well worth sticking around for. Um, yeah, we're currently on a short break. Uh, on the screen, we believe it says coming up is Octopush. However, yeah, George... Not 100% not on that. Yeah, we, we assume the swimming goes on for a little while longer because the uh, announcer in the pool just said there was a short break. He didn't say that it was the end yeah, of the swimming. Yeah, I believe we do still have some swimming events to go. Uh, just waiting on confirmation of that, though. Yeah, it, it does seem, however, like the swimmers are warming up for something. However, there aren't as many around as before, so it could yeah, be Yeah, they're all just doing the steady strokes now, keeping uh, warm, keeping uh, ready for what is yet to come in this short break that we're currently on. Mm. So what events are you looking for forward to later in the week, George? Obviously, I guess, I'd imagine you'll be sticking around here for the Octopush, maybe? Uh, yeah, Octopush, always a good one to uh, watch because you don't have a clue what's going on, usually. Yeah. Uh, however... If you are thinking of tuning out because of that, don't. We have underwater cameras yeah, uh, this year, which you may have seen. When uh, the backstroke swimmers get into the water, uh, you can see uh, on one of our cameras, it is perched just underneath. Yeah, uh, so we'll be, we'll be using that view uh, later on when Octopush uh, is on. I'm also probably looking forward to the darts. Of course, the, the darts. Fest. The darts of, is of phenomenal. Course. Do, 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 do. Uh, da, 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 da. That's not a swimming song. We that, can't do that. That's just now. how you do it. Uh, that is that's darts in a nutshell, though. Uh, and of course, I will be commentating later on the women's uh, basketball. That is going to be a fantastic which event, which I believe is going to be very good. I remember watching it last year. I think me, me with and yourself. you were there. Yeah. yeah, you and me were there watching it in Lancaster, uh, and from what I remember. It was, it was a incredible. very exciting game. There was some it was very close. I yeah, believe Lancaster it was won in the end, I think. Yeah, but, but I think it was in the last quarter. The yeah. final moments of the last quarter, it was won. Mm, definitely. It's a very uh, neck and neck game. I think possibly York uh, brought it back in the third quarter, uh, but then Lancaster we just kept the, the lead in front, yeah. Uh, and of course, the women's uh, basketball first team will be looking to get one back over on York. Uh, as of last night, the opening ceremony with the men's basketball, a fantastic game. Uh, Lancaster had a 14-point lead at one point. Um, I very much enjoyed it. Which they then ended up throwing away in the last quarter uh, as the York crowd were growing real restless and the atmosphere was just electric. And you could tell that they really uh, helped to drive York on to pull the, those points back and then extend their lead. Although Lancaster nearly did um, snatch it straight back from them in the closing moments. So the women's basketball is bound to be an exciting event, if not to uh, a very high standard of basketball. So that is one that you should certainly look out for. Um, of course, w there will be uh, live TV coverage of the darts, um, which Bellring FM, I would imagine, will be commentating over in a similar manner to this. Yeah, I don't know who is commentating on it, but I'm sure we do have someone. We have uh, one commentator, Luke Ray. Uh, and then Lucre. the co-commentator, I believe, at the minute is Anthony Cockbane. Okay. Uh, however, that is the second commentator is yet to be confirmed. Uh, URY, however, uh, Josh Kerr, who has been the co-presenter of the breakfast Rose's Breakfast Show with me, uh, is going to be commentating on the um, on the darts on the main radio stream. If you cannot listen, uh, cannot watch online, sh shall we say? Um, and then he has a team of uh, people on there with him. Uh, now, back to the swimming. Do we know when it's meant to be coming up? Uh, well, Soon? we're just on a short break. It's a 10-minute break, and I feel like it's probably been about that. So we'll be seeing action taking off here very soon. If um, you're looking to get more from Roses 2017, uh, there are plenty of social networks uh, and social medias that you can connect to all of us on. Um, 
all of the student media that are covering the event. That's Bell Ring FM, uh, LA1 TV, Scan, URY, YSTV, and... York's equivalent of Scan. Yeah, th there's, there are three. I can't remember. There's the Lemon Press. Uh, is it York Vision? No, and Vision, yeah. Vision, um, yeah. We all have Facebook accounts. Uh, there are some Twitter accounts available. And? And an Instagram account, which Bellrig FM have launched in the run-up to Roses. You can also follow uh, URY have a Snapchat, which they will be Snapchatting a lot of the action from where they are doing their outside broadcast. Yeah, that is true. Um, and behind-the-scenes action is not short um, at Roses 2017. There are plenty of little tidbits here and there, um, plenty of pictures of great interest on the Bearing FM Instagram, um, as I am the photographer for that. They, may, they may not be very great pictures. However, there is a, quite an interesting one of James and George, your Hello. regular commentators for the swimming, as we were trying to get to the swimming arena. It was miles away from everywhere else. Did you yeah. realize it was that far? Yeah, if you're listening back in Lancaster, you may think that Cartmel is far away. Oh. It is a whole. It's a trek. It is a whole other thing out here. Uh, I believe the campus we are on. Well, I'm not going to make spurious claims. Actually, uh, I have no idea where we are, but it seems that this is the right place because there is swimming occurring. We did say that we will be coming back very shortly. However, shortly turned into a little bit even longer. Um, we're not quite yet ready to get back to the swimming action. Yeah, I believe that a couple of the uh, a couple of the people hosting the event here, a couple of the people that work at the centre, are just uh, making some adjustments to the boards on the uh, far side. Is that changing the lanes or? Oh, down there. Oh, yeah. okay. So. That I'd imagine so then just off your screen now, you won't be able to see it, but uh, on the far right side of the pitch, there's just a couple of adjustments. Pitch. pitch <laughs> on the far right of the pool, uh, there's just a couple of adjustments being made, it looks like. Yeah, Possibly I'd, I'd imagine th these are now getting towards the uh, shorter events. We've had the 100 and the 200. Is this now a case of uh, we're going to the 25 and the 50, James? Yeah, they'll be doing the sprints now, uh, usually. They usually actually start on the sprints, but they're ending on them this year. Um, should be interesting. They'll be pretty tense and pretty close, I, I think. Probably why the boards are being adjusted down this end, I'd yeah, imagine. Do, th do they start at that end and finish at that end, or do they jump in at that end and that's the thing yeah. down there? Uh, radio, you can't really point and say that end. That, that doesn't was a question for, for me. That was my interest. Yeah. So... I believe they start at the same place as they did um, in all the previous events and then finish uh, down at the other end of the pool in the 25 meter sprint and of course the 50 meter sprint they turn around and head straight back. Yeah you can see on the far side now uh, possibly just off your screen again but you might be able to see the York team uh, a couple of them psyching themselves up with music a couple of them looking at different uh, clipboards and such possibly tactics, who knows, and Lancaster doing the same uh, just to the right of them as the short break uh, unwinds. And it seems that uh, some of the commentary streams that we have uh, being put online, uh, there may be some issues, um, however, we are looking to get a commentary stream on the lacrosse currently, and means the cross in French. It does not. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, and I believe the mixed table tennis is close to finishing, um, so that stream may be taken down shortly. Yeah, uh, Tom Beeston will be your commentator over there, I believe. Uh, Co-commentated by Anthony Cockney. Yeah, I wasn't sure. That one that, is so. confirmed, yeah. uh, as they've been doing it since about 11 o'clock this morning. Um, what time did you wake up this morning, George, uh, to provide coverage for Roses 2017? Uh, I got up about, well, I woke up about half seven, I believe, uh, and then I couldn't really get back in bed because someone else was in my bed. Um, <laughs> just a bit of interesting insider, uh, not, well, not knowledge. Uh, Information. Yeah, uh, for what it's like being the student media sleeping on the floor of a seminar room. 
It's been a very come back long... From, come back from the toilet and you get a Luke Ray in your sleeping bag. It's been a very long uh, couple of days for us so far and obviously we've got uh, another half a day yet uh, as it's only just getting towards uh, three o'clock. Uh, in fact, no, it's not. The, it's only, it's the only real just endurance, two. you know, it's not done by the athletes in my eyes. No, it's, it's the student media. I, I of course, jest. Uh, the student media, all the TV and radio people are doing a fantastic job but not doing very much in comparison to the swimmers who have yeah. to swim 200 meters. Uh, they, train, very they train for this all year round. And the men swimming, the current scores uh, stand at 44 to Lancaster and 36 to York. And then the women's swimming is... Not 100% on these scores you're putting out there, Tom. I heard a different thing to what you just heard. I was going to say it, and then they and it's the women's swimming as well, so I, I missed yeah. that one. Um, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll it is, I believe it is us. York leading in the men's with Lancaster women in uh, leading in the women's. Uh, Possibly. Okay. Possibly. We will try and confirm those scores for you as soon as we can. Um, however, it looks like the events are going to get back underway shortly, so I'll pass over... Back to uh, your regular commentary team of James, and you'll be stuck with George, unfortunately. Hello. Hello again. James Riley joining me now, ready for the sprints, I believe, we're coming up to. Yep, indeed. So we got yep, we got the women coming up first. The event will be announced shortly. I the women will start with a 50 meters. So sorry, George. I was just going to say the women have uh, lined themselves up ready to take their positions. The men ready behind them. So here, women's 50 metre butterfly. The crowd getting ready again. For those that Weren't with us earlier, York are in lanes one and three, Lancaster two and four. And they hit the water. It looks very close yeah. as they emerge. It looks like Lancaster trailing, but too close to call for me between positions one and three. Yeah, it's pretty even now. The ball got just half a length on Lancaster nearest to us. It looks like Lancaster possibly Half a finger ahead here, it's very short. Yeah, it looks distance. like Lancaster might take this one, it's very close, so. Go on, Lancaster! They hit the wall, yes. Lancaster taking first place there, 0.4 seconds ahead of York, yep. who takes second and third position. Lancaster just edged that one. Strong swim, very close competition yeah, yeah, between indeed. the three of them there. So the points that have been shared from that one. The men getting ready now on the left side of your screen. Yep. 50 meter butterfly for the men now. As they take their positions. Crowd looking on nervously. We've hit the water. Again, neck and neck as they go. Halfway on this first leg. Literally. Very, very close between all four swimmers here. It looks like York possibly leading ever so slightly. Yep, York are just edging it, but Lancaster in the second and third. It's very close. It's gone down the far side. Apologies for the flickering of the screen there, but you did see the end result, which I believe was a York victory. Yep. York took that one by 0.2 in the second. Lancaster sharing third and second and third. York rounding out the field. Very close. 1.1 uh, seconds between all four of the swimmers yep. there from first place to fourth. Women's 50 metre backstroke here. Lancaster in lane two. Maisie Ferno. Oh, you, kn you know someone that does swimming, I do, do you? I know Maisie, yeah. 
Well, good luck. If anyone wanted to know their name, you now know. <laughs> Swapping now to the underwater camera that we were talking about earlier. As the women get ready. And they're off. They're off. Looks like Lancaster in yeah. lane four falling behind, but very close in the centre lanes. Looks like York possibly yeah. taking a slight lead, hitting the turn. York's taking it right now. Lancaster in second. That's Maisie. Then it's third and fourth. Pretty equal. Looks, Looks like, like York. York winning to me. York taking first position, 30.8 seconds. Nice. Lancaster in second, York third, Lancaster fourth. Three seconds between all four swimmers there. That'll be the men, 50 meter backstroke as well. You can see the nerves in the uh, the bodies of the teams on the other side. They all seem to be stood around, bated breath. They've been training all year for this. As the men enter the pool now. Taking the marks. And they are off. And as they emerge, nearest lanes came up far later and they've got a better start because of it. Lancaster. Look, looks like two Lancaster swimmers and a York swimmer. Very close positions, one to three. But it looks like Lancaster taking first by... This is neck and neck. Although York seem to be pulling this now. They're this very close. Way. I believe that was York. Yep, yeah, York had taken that one by 0 0.1 of a second there, Lancaster. Very second. close, 0.13 seconds Lancaster's in the final stretch. Second and third, York rounding out the field again. That was so, so close. Couple of updates now as we wait for the women's 50 meter breaststroke uh, in the Men's second tennis, York won 56 points to 38. Uh, in rugby union, men's second, York uh, have uh, got a try to um, pull it 22 points to them, 21 to Lancaster. Take the marks, and they're off. It's the women's 50 meter breaststroke for you. Looks like Lancaster yep. edging it slightly coming out of the start. Very close in lane three for York yep. though. They hit the halfway point and as they emerge, looks like Lancaster are just ahead oh, but it's neck it's, and neck. it's very close. Although that's a very strong stroke from yep. Lancaster. It looks like it's going to be a Lancaster one. Although York's it's very group. close. Lancaster do yes. take it. York second, York third as well, I believe, and Lancaster fourth. Half a second in that one. Again, very close. All of these races, points of second, split the field. In the lacrosse, it seems that Lancaster are being... Uh, oh, Lancaster have actually just scored, making the score 8-1 to York there. The crowd, apparently, uh, very strong there, as they are here. Men's 50 meter breaststroke. I, expe I expect York will win this. Is that because you know people from the no, team? I don't know people. Okay, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> and they're off. Neck and neck as they emerge. Very strong start by lanes one through to three by the looks. It looks like York are edging it slightly, yeah. but we could see a very close finish here oh, as Lancaster back. are coming back. 
But I think this has to be a York victory. York taking first place. And second place, sir. And no. Yeah. York take a 1-2. He took him on the line and they'll be very pleased with that. That might have swung the entire event in their favour. Lancaster won't be so happy with that, but as you said, you expected York to take victory there. It's the expert commentary you get on 87.7 Barriga Fan. Not that we're actually on 87.7 Barrig FM. Currently, we're on roseslive.co.uk, where you can check out all the action over the weekend. With the tennis score, it is now 56 points to 38 in York's favour. And York are off, but it looks like Lancaster's taking an early lead. They hit the board. Yeah, Lancaster in this, and they might get a one-two themselves. It's going to be neck and neck all the way to the line. York are pushing hard in the inside lane. And that is a victory for Lancaster. Yeah. I'm not sure who took. Uh, second place York there. took it by 0.1 of a second there. That was nail biting. Yeah. Lancaster needed that just to steady the ship a bit. Crowd going still here as we await the next event. The team's really trying to cheer on their uh, their teammates here, get them in the right zone. Some of these swimmers are suffering. They need medical attention on the sideline. It's a tough eight. It's I believe eight. everyone is okay, yep. just tiredness really getting to them now. as the men line up. Here we go. So they take the marks. This is what it all comes down to. And they're off. They hit the water. And as they come up, it's neck and neck, but it looks like Lancaster are just edging it by a fingernail to York. Hitting the turn now. And it, this can go any way for three of these swimmers. It looks like Lancaster possibly taking 1-2 one one here. 1-2 yeah. one yes. for Lancaster indeed. York in third and fourth. One second split the entire field in that race. Shows you how close this is. Very close, very strong swim from all of those swimmers there. Very impressive. Yeah, Lancaster won two. At this, at this stage in the competition, they'll need that. They'll be happy with it. And that's the women's job again. Women lining up now for the 50 meter freestyle relay. Some of these swimmers were in the last heat. That just shows you how incredible they are. Yeah, and, and a couple of them seem to be struggling yep. quite a bit. Will we see a further performance? Well, they emerge and Lancaster are taking a lead. Lancaster half a stroke ahead, approaching the turn. But York are hot on their heels. 
Yep. It's currently... Lancaster leading it out. York, second. Lancaster look like they're in third. The difference here is so small that it can be brought back by a strong start by the second swimmer for York. Lancaster leading York second on the inside lanes. The Very close third. between third neck and, neck. and fourth. Lancaster second leg here, leading it home. She's pulling out a nice advantage, half a length from York. As we approach the final person, final swimmer for each team in the relay. This is the third leg now. Oh. Lancaster, a full length ahead of York in second. And in fact, Lancaster in the lane nearest to us have closed the gap quite considerably. They're challenging for second themselves, pulling out from, from York, who are trailing off now. Yeah, definitely looks like Lancaster coming up in first here. Very close second place. Inc incredible leg there from, from Lancaster's uh, swimming nearest to us. She's brought them right back in the race for second. Definitely looks like Lancaster will be winning this one as they approach the final 25 metres. It's 25 metres. Can she pull it back? Can she get a Lancaster 1-2? She looks like she's dropping off slightly. Stretching out the Yeah, lead. I think we're going to see uh, Lancaster York, Lancaster York here. Yeah, and that is how it finishes indeed. Five seconds the difference between them there. Lancaster not quite managing the one two. Uh, we have had reports of one of the football streams not working. Uh, apologies for that, but that just means that you have no distractions from the swimming that's going on right now. Why would you want to be anywhere else than with us? Poolside here. Four by 50 metre freestyle replay, relay for the men. The men getting ready here. And they're off. And it's still neck and neck. York stayed in far longer and they're just edging it because of it in the mid middle lane. It's very close positions, one through to three here. I can't call it. Me neither, but it looks like Lancaster are having a one-two right now, but only by a couple Very of slim margins. These second swimmers are all in the water now. Lancaster have dropped off a bit, so Lancaster lead. York now taking second from Lancaster in third. And York again rounding out the field. York though, very strong turn there for the second of their swimmers. And he may in fact have overtaken Lancaster for first place. That is an incredible effort. He's not only, he's gone from third to first in the leg and they're pushing on. It's neck and neck now at the front. With the third swimmer though, it looks like Lancaster first to the turn. Very strong swim from him. Incredible and he is edging swim. away from York in second place. So Lancaster died. They're well ahead now. It's over a length. Incredible third lane. York second. And Lancaster are pulling it back. What a strong swim we have seen here from the Lancaster four in lane two. To nearly be caught in that to the line oh, for blood. second place. Lancaster right back in it. Lancaster taking first place. Who's got it? Oh, York got it. <laughs> and York takes second place. James Riley is definitely not disappointed about that. 0.3 seconds between second and third place there. Very close. What a swim from the uh, Lancaster relay team there that won that. Lawrence Coatman is waving to their fans and they go ecstatic with that result. Oh, do you know him? Fuck, mate. <laughs> we 
But yeah, Lancaster won that one. Very close to second, but York just pipped Lancaster. York, fin wrap it up. And that looks like, to conclude the action for the day here, there's, there's hugs all around, and the Lancaster fans are looking very happy. They might have taken this here. We'll have a confirmation we of the final score soon. Once we know, you at home will know. So, exciting events there at the swimming. Very much so. Lots uh, of neck and neck finishes I'm also. Not, I'm not sure if you caught that one, Tom. Uh, but that final event there, uh, the men's uh, four times 50 meter relay. Um, Mad. Very close in with the first couple of swimmers. Yeah, I can see by the times. 138.04, 13981. Well, very close for wow. quite a while with Lancaster initially leading York then coming back before Lancaster dominating the final couple of stretches. Uh, three cheers from both sides, congratulating the other, and then a round of applause all round. So congratulating a fantastic few hours of swimming. Um, it's been incredibly exciting. I, I've never particularly watched the swimming this um, intensely before, but wow, there were some fantastic events there. Yeah, some really close draws and some very exciting one twos as well. Yeah, um, it seems that uh, our resident swimming expert James Riley, uh, he thinks Lancaster have won this event overall. Do you know that However, he knows a couple of people that do swimming? I did not know he knows a couple of people that do swimming. Did you? Do you know who they are, James uh, Riley? He lives with one of them. Yeah, well, you say yeah. Collins <laughs> Copeman, men's ex men's captain. You can tell from his body language that he, at Lancaster have won. He lives with you. Shut up. <laughs> Some uh, great banter going on in the commentary team here. Yeah. As we await the result of today. What's going on, George? Uh, well, it looks like on the other side, there's a lot of uh, talking between the coaches. Are we waiting for a fight to break out when they can't decide who's won? Possibly. They're the oh, they're all going to jump in the pool, apparently. The winners. Oh, oh okay. The winners will. That um, sounds fun. We will, we will be able to tell you who these winners are very shortly, I believe. Um, and then after the swimming, uh, we'll be... Uh, but we're finding we'll out ignore that in for now. a but minute. But after the swimming, we have uh, coverage of the underwater hockey, or octopus as it's known. Did you know that, that the swimmers do not have eight limbs? What? In Why octopus, is it called octopus then? Apparently it was just something that sounded cool. I, I'm sure there will actually be a reason for it. I, I don't know. I researched it, couldn't find it. Um, and neither did the uh, the guests that I had on my sports show on Bearing FM, they didn't know why it was called Octopus either. Um, but the swimmers do not have eight limbs, so it's not okay. that. You can see on the right of your screen, the, or Maybe you not. could see not on the more. right of your screen, the <laughs> Lancaster team huddling together, hands in the middle. Congratulations and they appear to, to be celebrating. Lancaster. Lancaster with a team huddle. Um, and they do look like they're about to jump in. Final scores. 64 to York, 76 to Lancaster. 64 to York, 76 to Lancaster in the men's swimming events. And in the women's, 68 to York. 71 to Lancaster, you can see on your screen all of the Lancaster team diving into the pool as both men and women take the victory. So final scores in the women's were 71 to Lancaster, 68 to York, and in the men's it was 74, 76 to Lancaster and 64 to York. Very close. So very close indeed, in especially the women's in the women's especially. events. Only a couple of uh, points in it there, but uh, as you can see on your camera right now, the um, Lancaster swimmers in the pool, celebrating their um, good eight points there, is it? Or is it just four for the joint men's and women's events, James? I think the four points each. So that could uh, pull Lancaster a little bit closer into the overall Roses uh, standings. And um, we will be sure to find out very shortly what the uh, overall scores are. Yeah, um, we've just got our, uh, our resident mathematicians here doing the calculations for you. Um, and so once, gremlin locked in a room somewhere. Once we know the scores, we will let you know. 
Uh, and as soon as it's announced on the, uh, the live blog, which you can see, um, the, we will uh, be able to Elsewhere, though, we have victories uh, for York in the uh, Netball College League winners. Uh, I believe also they won the graduate football, uh, taking them up to 57 points in the overall standings. And the women's lacrosse is well underway. Um, and it Eight seems points to two yeah, currently. It seems that uh, York are continuing their fantastic form from last year. Uh, I think they scored something like, I think the final score was something like 27-1 in that uh, game. So maybe it's an improvement from the Lancaster team this year, having scored two. Yeah, well, they've um, just scored the last two. Uh, it was eight to nil. And from what I can gather, the crowd is uh, over cheering the them. Well, no, expected. the crowd for Lancaster have really tried cheering them into bringing it back somewhat. However, it does seem like uh, with such a big lead in that game uh, and with the levels of the two sides that lacrosse is not going to go... Uh, Lancaster's way. However, potentially a comeback on the cards, maybe? Potentially. Uh, we'll keep you updated with that as and when we find out. Although, if uh, our stream does end by before then, uh, you will be able to check that as so and when. So, with the, the results for the table tennis, where Lancaster have won in the mixed first and mixed seconds, it is now 57 points uh, to 46 in favour of York in the overall standings with the uh, swimming, swimming still to be added to it still to be confirmed so this can this is going to be very close at um, least for a little while in the uh, women's first darts um, York need 204 uh, and Lancaster only need 10 oh no after the uh, York darts have been thrown sorry it is 147 uh, needed by York 10 for Lancaster so that would be a double five check it would indeed. That one. Um, any uh, other results coming Lancaster in? are currently winning in the women's handball at uh, three points to one. Uh, York believe. winning in the uh, women's second football 3-0. Hmm. Uh, and in the tennis men's second, we see victory for York five points to one. So plenty of results coming in right now and it, they all seem to be going in Lancaster's favor well not all there's been a couple there for York that I've just read out but it does seem like Lancaster might be trying to stage a bit of a comeback here yeah I mean I, I seem to remember at this point uh, of last roses there seemed to be a, a considerable gap between the two teams whereas this year it seems that Lancaster this is usually the point where one team will start pulling away yeah. but there's less than 15 points in it which is well, four events. And uh, uh, with that, that's the swimming. Okay, so I have been George Sanderson reporting on the swimming with Tom Pearson, who's here with me right now. Yep. Um, and James Riley, who knows someone that does swimming. Uh, coming up next is the, uh, the results on this. Um, well, the results are currently on the screen, but coming up next... Um, is the underwater hockey and uh, that will be broadcast from I think half past the hour I don't know yeah. what hour it is yet be sure to keep up to date yeah. though on Rose's live as we are signing off uh, keep up to date with all the streams and scores going on there there are other things happening around the university right now and uh, with that thank you very much for tuning in and stay tuned in for Octopush goodbye from me thank you for coming <laughs>